Welcome to review by DJ Spear C. We have the Creality Ender Tree Max. Uh, with one or two modifications done to it, should I say. Um, if you did follow a little bit of the videos I did on this printer here, uh, it has a direct drive from Creality, it's a sprite. It has dual Z axis, um, upgraded springs for the bed itself. The filament holder has been relocated to the top here instead of uh, the bottom. Um, and there's more things coming to this guy here. But the most reason I wanted to do this video today is there's a, not really a misconception out there. Uh, there is some people having issues uh, when doing the dual z-axis and what I mean by that is if you noticed if you do have one of these printers here um, you'll notice that normally your power supply lives right here okay if I grab a power supply it's supposed to live right here and when it's living there Basically, it is bolted to the printer here by these two bolts. When it is there, the physical chassis of the power supply is grounded to the chassis of the printer itself. Now, there's people complaining out there uh, for good reasons. I'm not going to say they're not. Um, that it's creating issues to the printer. They'll have glitches with the screen. Uh, they'll have uh, weird, just weird issues with it. And a lot of people are saying, yes, it is because my power supply is not grounded to the chassis. Yes, it is. And yes, it's not. It's kind of a floating ground. Uh, same thing. I have more than 18 years of car audio experience and it's a floating ground. should not create any issues or damage to the printer itself but the easiest way to fix this okay if you're situated like me when I did the dual Z even before I did the dual Z on my printer here the power supply lives underneath my table it is a wooden table uh, I just didn't want clutter in front of me and I just want the fan of the power supply not to really hear it put it underneath my table but if I take my multimeter, okay, and put it to continuity, for sure when these two here touch, you won't hear it. Yeah, you hear it, I mean. If I go underneath my table here, and grab my probe, and touch the side of the power supply, and touch my printer, you won't hear anything. Even if I go directly to it, any, you won't hear it. Easiest way to fix that, yes, to put the power supply back where it needs to be, uh, or if you use the stock bracket that came to relocate your power supply a little bit further down, you should be fine. Now, if you can do like me, basically remove the power supply, put it somewhere else, Easiest way is make yourself a wire, bolt it on the side of your power supply, okay? One of the holes that's, uh, that can mount it right here. Just make sure not to grab a too long of a screw that you screw inside the power supply to damage it, okay? And when you, you did that, route the wire any way you want. Me, it comes inside the, the middle of the printer on your knee and it comes out here. Now, if I grab this, and I did put a loop on it, go opposite, lift this again, touch the side of the power supply, and you'll hear it. That means it's grounding itself. What I'm going to do is remove one of the front screws. I'm going to put it in the back of the printer but for just this video here, I'm going to put it in the front. Okay. Now, parcel supplies underneath, where it comes in the middle, 
on, your, uh, on my table, comes on the site here, ground itself to the printer. Now I'm going to grab my multimeter again. I'm going to touch my power supply. And I can touch right here. And if you can hear it, now the power supply is grounded to the machine. I can touch anywhere on the printer itself. Here you won't hear it because it is isolated. But if I go here, you'll hear it too, even here. Now again, what this does completes the ground circuit of the power supply. If you're not having issues with your power supply, with your printer glitching on you, keep it the way it is. Mine's been that way for what, two years and a half? Never had issues. I had uh, somebody comment and asking me about this question and decided to make a video on it. Like I said, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this guy, put it in the back of my printer, like I said, I don't need it, don't have issues with mine, and I'm even upgrading the board on this machine soon too, to uh, a big tree. But again, like I said, the board inside itself, it is grounded to the power supply, because the power supply feeds power to it. Uh, it's the physical board that's not grounded to the chassis. There is two pins, they're welded. That's not the greatest to make a ground. Uh, physical, the chassis doesn't really need to be grounded, um, but it helps. The only thing that happens once in a while, if I do have carpet in this room, and if I'm statically charged, I'll touch the side here, and it, it will glitch a little bit my screen. Okay, that's the only thing that happened to mine. I never minded it. I have anti-static in front of the printer, but the rest of the room is not. Uh, but this will prevent that too. Now, if you guys have any comments or questions, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I do appreciate it. And that like button too. It does help the channel a lot. And like I said, I'm going to put this in the back. That way you don't see a wire in the front here. And that's it. Thank you for watching.